in this video we're going to focus on integrating exponential functions. So let's go ahead and begin. What is the antiderivative of e to the x dx? What do you think the answer is? For this function, it's simply going to equal the same thing. It's e to the x plus c. Now what about this one? What is the antiderivative of e to the 2x dx? This is going to be e to the 2x divided by the derivative of 2x, which is 2, plus c. That technique works only if you divide it by a constant. If you divide it by a variable, it's not going to work. So what do you think the answer for this one is? e to negative 5x dx. It turns out that it's going to be the same thing, e to the negative 5x, divided by the derivative of negative 5x, which is negative 5, plus c. Now, let's prove the last one using uh, u substitution. So, let's make u equal to negative 5x. du is the derivative of negative 5x, which is negative 5, times dx. And solving for dx, it's du divided by negative 5x. So now let's replace negative 5x with the u variable, and let's replace the dx with du over negative 5. Now let's take the constant, negative 5, and let's uh, move it to the front. So it's negative 5 antiderivative of eu, or e to the u, du. Now we know that the integration of e to the x is simply e to the x. So the antiderivative of e to the u is simply e to the u plus c. And now we can replace u with negative 5x. So the final answer, oh by the way, this should be uh, negative 1 over 5, because the 5 is on the bottom. So just keep that in mind. I almost forgot about that. But the final answer is negative 1 over 5 e to the negative 5x plus c, which is the same thing as what we have, which was e to the negative 5x divided by negative 5 plus c. Here's another one. x cubed times e raised to the x to the fourth dx. Go ahead and integrate the function. So we can integrate by substitution. Let's replace u with x to the fourth. So therefore, uh, du is going to be the derivative of x to the fourth, which is 4x cubed times dx. And now let's solve for dx. That's du over 4x cubed. So let's replace x to the fourth with the u variable. And now let's replace dx with du over 4x cubed. And so we could cancel x cubed. Now let's move the 4 to the front. So it's 1 fourth antiderivative e to the u du. The integration of e to the u is just e to the u times 1 fourth plus c. And now all we need to do is replace u with x to the fourth. So the final answer is 1 fourth e raised to the x to the fourth plus c. And as you can see, it's not that bad. So that's it for uh, that problem. And now let's move on to the next one. Here's another one you could try. e to the x times the square root of 1 minus e to the x dx. So what do you think we need to do first in this example? We should make u equal to 1 minus e to the x. If we do that, du is going to be negative e to the x dx. The derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So the derivative of negative e to the x is negative e to the x. Now solving for dx, it's du over negative e to the x. So this is going to be e to the x times the square root of u. And dx is du divided by negative e to the x. So we can cancel e to the x. So we can move the negative in front. The square root of u is basically u to the 1 half, and then times du. 
So now let's integrate. Let's add 1 to the exponent. 1 half plus 1 is 3 over 2. And instead of dividing it by 3 over 2, we can multiply it by 2 over 3. Now let's add the constant c. So now we need to replace u with 1 minus e to the x. So the final answer is negative 2 over 3, 1 minus e to the x, raised to the 3 over 2, plus c. And that's it for this problem. Here's the next one. e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the x minus e to the negative x dx. So let's integrate this. What should we make u equal to? The bottom one or the top one? In this problem, we want to make u equal to the bottom one. So we can, we can get rid of the top one. So u is going to be e to the x minus e to the negative x. So now let's find du. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. The derivative of negative e to the negative x is going to be negative e to the negative x times negative 1. And all of this is multiplied by uh, dx. So negative e to the x times negative 1 is basically positive e to the negative x. So solving for dx, it's du over e to the x plus e to the negative x. And this is good because we can see that this is the same as a numerator, which means that it's going to cancel soon. So let's rewrite what we have. Let's replace the denominator with the u variable because they're equal to each other. And let's replace dx with du over ex plus e to the negative x. And so these two will cancel. And now what we have is the antiderivative of 1 over u du, which is going to be ln u plus c. And now we can replace u with this. So the answer is the natural log of e to the x minus e to the negative x plus c. And let's put this in uh, absolute value. And so this is the solution. Let's work on another one. e to the 1 over x squared divided by x cubed dx. So what do you think we should make u equal to? In this example, let's make u equal to uh, 1 over x squared. And before we find a derivative, let's rewrite it. This is equal to x raised to the minus 2. So du, using the power rule, is going to be negative 2 x to the negative 2 minus 1, or negative 3, times dx. Now before we solve for dx, let's uh, simplify. Let's get rid of the negative exponent. We could do that by moving x from the top to the bottom. So negative 3 will now become positive 3. And now let's get dx by itself. So first, let's multiply both sides by x cubed. So these will cancel. And so we have uh, x cubed du is equal to negative 2 dx. So now let's divide both sides by negative 2 to get dx by itself. So dx is equal to x cubed du divided by negative 2. So now let's replace 1 over x squared with u. So this is uh, e raised to the u divided by x cubed. And let's replace dx with what we have here. And that's x cubed du over negative 2. And so let's cancel x cubed. And let's take the negative 2 and move it to the front. So it's going to come out as negative 1 half integration e to the u du, which is equal to negative 1 half e to the u plus c. And now all we need to do is replace u with what it was. So the answer is going to be negative 1 half e to the 1 over x squared plus c. And that's it for this one. Now what about this problem? What is the antiderivative of e to the 3x plus 4 e to the x plus 5? divided by e to the x dx. What do you think we should do here? So we have a fraction, and there's only one term in a denominator. What we can do is split the fraction into three smaller fractions. 
So it's e to the 3x over e to the x plus 4 e to the x over e to the x plus 5 over e to the x. Now, what's e to the 3x divided by e to the x? Well, we go back to algebra. x to the 7 divided by x squared is x to the 5. You need to subtract the exponent, 7 minus 2. So here, we got to subtract the exponents. 3x minus x, or 3x minus 1x, is 2x. So right now, we have e to the 2x. Now, 4e to the x over e to the x, these cancel because they're the same. x minus x is 0, so you just get 4. E to the 0 is 1, by the way. Now, this e to the x, we can move to the top. And it will become e to the negative x, or 5 e to the negative x. And now we can integrate it in this form. The antiderivative of e to the 2x is simply e to the 2x over 2. Integration of 4 is just 4x. And for the next one, it's going to be 5 e to the negative x divided by the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1, plus c. And so that's the solution.